What's up guys, this is the Roferman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Ottoman Empire. So to pick up where we left off, we are trying to clear out this area of Mughal troops. We've had a big fight um, over here, pushed these two stacks east. Now we also have these, lots of these uh, fractions of troops um, to the east and I'm hoping we can do a lot of damage to them. Uh, collectively collectively they might be a big army but they're going to be coming in in dribs and drabs so isolating and destroying them all will be fairly simple so that's the well this is it so the thing with the Mughals is that they rely on having that large wave effect as their troops come in so as they start coming in you know one unit at a time from the reinforcement we're using the reinforcement mechanics they aren't as much of a problem um, you still have to be careful, but you don't have to be overly worried. So let's do this. Deploy more guns. And then similarly to what I did in the last episode, I'm not going to deploy all my troops because uh, lots of stuff is going to be happening. Lots of stuff's going to be happening, lots of stuff's going to be coming in as reinforcements, and Empire is great at screwing you over. Make sure my howitzers are firing quick line. Good. Okay, good. They haven't screwed us over. So let's get my grenadiers over to the right. Let's take this infantry and stretch them out a bit more. My gunners focus exclusively on the elephants. Actually, both focus on one for now. Uh, it looks like my right flank can definitely get away with something like this. My howitzers focus on the Gurkhas. General's bodyguard's been cleaned out. So you've got one column coming in from back here. That's the that's the one that's all dervishes. Then you've got one coming in from back here that's a bit of a fragment of lots of bits and pieces. Excellent hit on the Gurkhas there. And as they get within musket range, that's when my Israelis, the common or garden Israeli, begin to show their worth. Out. they've got their bows and arrows. So they do have Gurkhas and Gurkhas are scary but massed musketry is pretty effective. Because here are my grenadiers. That's a bit thin but Those bowmen aren't going to be around for too long. The Gurkhas are charging. Yeah, and there they go. Okay, let's not go quite as wide as I've suggested. 
Are you guys still going after those elephants? I mean, they're coming in. <laughs> they really didn't they? Now they're starting to come in in numbers. Okay. Those camels aren't going to have much of a chance. These poor Gurkhas. They're great troops, they just can't take... They just haven't got the defence to get to get into range for melee combat. At least not against a prepared unit like this. Enemy unit of Sipahi. I can take them out with my Mamelukes. You guys form a square on the flank. The howitzers have to shift their targets to fight someone a bit further away. Let's get my men involved in this fight. It's one unit of camels knocked out. Yep, Sipahi are pretty dangerous, but I've just swung. I, I suspected they were going to come into the battle sooner or later. And because they've got camels. Okay, you guys just run away. Here comes the camel. Here comes the Ellie's. Try get one of my infantry units out to just uh, form a gun line to shoot at the shoot at the elephants. Yeah, that unit on the flanks about to get dervishes popping up. If we can knock out those Sipahi, that'd be I'd feel a lot better. General's bodyguard is wavering. Your grenadiers, I have no worries about you and the merson and the uh, elephant and the camels. Get you guys to the top of this hill to get a good shot into the central mass. But they are dervishes, so don't I'm not worried. So many men. Deploy the camels. There you go, they've, all, they've all gone, including the camels, including the uh, uh, elephants, so let's get these Mamelukes out. Those Gurkhas have your name on it. Oh, there's more Gurkhas. Let's get you guys up here to give them some help just in case. Move up, switch my artillery to round shot to prevent too much friendly fire. Okay, they might have to kill people on the way to the Gurkhas. Such as these dervishes. Camels, you fight those Gurkhas. Switch my howitzers to round shot. Good, you are going to make it to those Gurkhas. Ah, dervishes. Fear not, they are worth killing. Get my camels out of there. Now the 
the Gurkhas are going to rout, sadly. Okay, here's the rest of the enemy army coming up. Let's move up our battle line. You fight them because you're about to get some infantry support. There's some more Gurkhas up here to kill. I see they even routed a funny direction. I could have got so many of them. You chase them down a little bit. But then let's get you back. Let's get you back. What a waste. You hack these apart for a while. Get my howitzers limbered up. Let's redress the line. You guys should be able to do, get some good fire into the side of these Sikh warriors. Oh no, we've had enough. Ooh, Gurkhas, Gurkhas, Gurkhas. Gurkhas to kill. Gurkhas, are, they're so good. They're my favourite unit to take out because I just... <laughs> They're beasts in melee combat, but that's about it. You take out the dervishes, you're going to charge my whole line, so you're going to die. These men aren't going to be left out. I'm going to do this. Now the Gurkhas have realised I'm onto them. These Gurkhas. See, they're wavering. They've only lost 15 men. Not very good morale. Like, you guys may as well kill those dervishes while you can. Damn! Throw my cavalry into the mix. Friendly fire risk or no. Because look at that. Straight at the Gurkhas. I do need a contingent of real troops though to come up and face off against the few remaining units, the few remaining actual units they have. Yes. Like these Sikh warriors, they want to interfere with my massacre. So I'm going to run my guys around. Get my field artillery to keep focusing on the Sikh warriors. Go 
can't send these guys at fireball off because otherwise they will massacre everybody. Yeah, my general's involved now. Okay, my general is going to go after the Gurkhas instead. No, your job is to go after those musketeers first. Because there's so few of them. Enemy mortars firing. Hit the mortars. Uh, except my general is going to go after the Gurkhas. So you guys are going to not fire at will. So you're just going after the bowmen, but the bowmen are going to rout, so now go after the horsemen there. Well, oh, they've routed anyway. Get my general over to help fight against the horsemen. You guys can fire at will now if you like. Ah, however many you can get. Go on, Mamelukes, get in there and help my general. Let's so speed up time, really. Damn right, continue. Well, they've routed just those horsemen and a unit of Sikh warriors. There is a unit over there, but I'm not going to worry about them. I can get all my cavalry after these Sikh warriors, so I may as well focus on them. Chomp. Chompity chomp chomp. Beautiful. Close victory. That wasn't close. That was a good victory. We knocked back every army. Yeah, that's so many men they have lost. There we go. So hopefully all these fragments will combine themselves into one army which we can then destroy later on. So you guys continue to replenish. You guys... You could do something. Let's march you guys up, march you up into the mix at least for now. Um, okay, so... Hyderabad was sieged. Let's take this army that's currently in port. March them around for uh, immediate support. So at some point we do need to take out Mysore. If we fight and win in the city, these guys will get hammered, but that does not they won't disappear because they still have Goa. Unless we kind of get ready to jump on Goa as soon as possible. Um, I'm not going to attack even though I've got overwhelming numbers, because they've got artillery, and the artillery has a massive effect on morale. And I just don't want depleted units to just cock it up for me. Um, you're in good shape. Put a diaper under siege. Or do I just attack it? To be honest, I may as well just attack it at this point. Okay, Ahmedabad is proving to be quite an important recruitment centre. I can actually recruit good infantry here now. Indian mercenaries. Hindu musketeers. Hmm. I think I may as well just attack. I can't... If you've got the opportunity to be offensive against the Mughal Empire, it always feels like you should do it. Because if you give them more time and more breathing space, they just churn out more and more units. Especially as this garrison and the reinforcing army are depleted. So it would be silly to uh, to not do it, I think. 
Why give them that time? So because we're going to go offensive, we can have a gun line. Back here, we've got some very experienced Nizam here. The very experienced Nizam. Skirmishers and Grenadiers on the flank. My hand mortars are going to go on the left because they're great fun. Cavalry on each side. Chamat, just go anywhere for now. General on the left. So we need to push up rapidly. Field artillery switch to round sharp. This is formation. Swarm, 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 attack pattern alpha. Cavalry in a city is not usually the best thing to do. Actually, my artillery, my howitzers might focus on some of the reinforcing units. throw my cavalry into the mix I think we have to cut some of these guys off early see they've got quick climb coming out they've got shrapnel shot firing my cavalry just smash into the bowmen and deal with them early we've got Hindu warriors who my hand mortars are going to get in position but not fire They've charged through, and I'll just get out of the way. Halt, fire at will. I, I... Here we go. It's about to go off. Get my heavy cavalry up there, take advantage of the freedom you guys put a volley into the general same with you guys hopefully we've been hit feel focus all our artillery rearward get our sapahi in big morale break in the center our lines have clashed in the middle so it's important we close the lines up no sapahi ignore Ignore that fight, ignore the cavalry, go for the artillery. Throw the Janissaries in. You guys fight the levy. Keep pushing up, General needs to be up here. Ignore the Ellies. Cavalry sweep through their artillery position. You guys charge into the rear of this massive block of men. Like I said, we could ignore the elephants because there's only six of them. There we go. I'll charge into this into the back of this big block of men. My cavalry is dealing with the artillery. There we go. You 
few men take position. Their line is broken. Select our Nizam. Create a new line. Whoa, wait a minute. All you guys limber up. Get our Janissaries back. I mean, they don't all have to come back. Like our cavalry, our light infantry needs to come up to deal with General's bodyguard. We don't really need to worry about chasing down these guys because they are the garrison. Okay, those lances, I don't like where they're going. Quick climb them like your lives depend on it because I think they do. So you guys line up. Ah yes, I forgot about the mort the whole mortars not giving you a, a toss about where they are. And they can still fire mortar shots, that's great. <laughs> that's right, we managed to get them to divert, to focus on my general. So you men, just engage. Engage at fire at will. The wall took a few of these shots. But these guys are going to have a wonderful time when they've reloaded. See how good hand mortars are against elephants. Oh no, because they're being attacked by... attacked by these little annoying little mortar garrison dudes so you fight them try get them to route I want them to see what this does no don't route come on fire <laughs> pretty darn effective okay hop back to my actual battle so we've managed to save my artillery how it says pick at these little reinforcing units god that assault was pretty fun <laughs> it just Massive battle in the centre with just all of these bodies. It was definitely having having enough strength for my janissaries in the centre to hold them off while my flanks, flanking units managed to come in and sweep them out. I mean, yeah, look, these reinforcements aren't really reinforcements, are they? <laughs> Let them fight another day. Well, there we go. That's another territory taken on our road to victory. God. Six men remaining. Let's get actually killed that reinforcing army. Hurrah. So let's build the barracks. Let's rebuild the settlement. Let's build, the, build some fortifications. Let's build you into a madrasa. Even though you are... Islamic. Are you converting people to Islam? It behooves us to have a few church schools because they do have other religions in India. Famously so. Okay, let's build better roads. You guys replenish. 
good. Good stuff. So you're on your way to Lahore. These guys are done for. Yeah, Lahore, done for. You're all marching up to support the army near Kabul, so it'd be fascinating to see if you actually get there or not. Um, let's combine those units to try and see if we can maintain... A, free up some space and see if we can maintain the high experience level. Nah. Um, okay, so Mantagar is still building itself up. So you're also going all the way up there to support them. Let's upgrade this port. Upgrade a Medabad to have top tier roads and upgrade the tea plantation to get more stuff to market. I think in Medabad you guys can actually leave the city now, can't you? You can. And let's just get some Hindu musketeers as a bit of a garrison just in case. You guys push on to Malwa because there's no garrison. So just demand the city. And fortify it. Uh, tea. Even though tea might not necessarily be worth as much, um, still tea because you get there's less opportunities to uh, produce it. But there we go, our swarm across the uh, across the continent seems to be going well. Let's get another army being built in Ceylon to go and get ready to try and land up against Calcutta. To be honest, I might I was about to say I might push, but I might want to resolve this Hyderabad thing first before I start to push up towards this cluster of troops. Um, over in the Americas, so we do have the small matter of these pirates, um, which I am going to fight because it'll be quite a fun little quick battle, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time uh, for the capture of Nassau, because we'll probably then link that with the capture of St. Augustine as well. Radio, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed.